ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Sunday, January the 11th, Weather Extreme Video. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and let's take a look at what's happening around the SkyCam network. Here's the Compass Bank building looking out over the buildings in downtown Birmingham, and we can still see some cloudiness out there. And uh, still looks kind of cloudy down towards Clanton. Most of the rain is out of the immediate area, although we could see some uh, patches of some light rain down uh, to the southeast of Birmingham. And, oh, looks pretty foggy at Gadsden as we look out over the lights of the Coosa Valley there. Cold front has swept through the state, but you can notice a good deal of high clouds streaming in still from the uh, southwest. And that's going to keep us mostly cloudy today. I think we'll clear out tonight. The uh, infrared picture, the, uh, the water vapor imagery with uh, the trough there you can see uh, in the uh, lower Mississippi River Valley as it's uh, swinging through the area, and that is uh, helping to open up the freezing doors and uh, the freezer doors and bring that cold air down into the area. Temperatures across the southeast still relatively mild, but you can see the gradient, the change from uh, southeast Georgia back up towards Chicago with it uh, looks like Savannah around the lower 60s, but Chicago uh, just uh, very close to the, uh, uh, well, not too far from the single digits, just uh, the single digits just a little further north uh, west of Chicago. A little closer to home, we're in the 40s, and you can notice the wind flow, a strong northwesterly wind today. I think I'd describe it as brisk, and uh, that's certainly going to keep things rather chilly with the clouds. Uh, a little patchy rain still just to the south and southeast of Montgomery and east of Montgomery there, but I think for the most part we're probably going to be dry. Although when you got the clouds around, you may see a little bit of light sprinkles on your windshield early this morning. QBF-wise, not showing much precipitation, extremely light, uh, and that comes probably on Tuesday. All right, here's the 06C GFS model run, and uh, here is the surface map for today, and there's the front down across uh, southeast Georgia and into the uh, central Gulf of Mexico. The 500 millibar pattern by Monday uh, shows a number of impulses, one uh, just off the New England coast, one uh, just uh, over western Iowa, uh, another one back up in Canada, So, uh, and then one down over southeast Texas. So a number of impulses all helping to intensify and amplify that trough over the eastern half of the country. At the surface, general high pressure over the eastern um, oh, the eastern, southeastern third of the country, at least. The trough sharpens up on Tuesday, and I think this is when we're going to see another shot of colder air and the possibility of some clouds, and with those clouds, the possibility that we might see a few snow flurries or some light sprinkles. Going to be uh, extremely cold, as you can see by the 540 line, uh, all the way down south of New Orleans and Mobile. Uh, so using that at least as a guideline, but... Uh, we're going to have to watch this situation because I don't like being squeezed between that rain over North Florida and the and the moisture coming in uh, from the north, so we'll be watching that. The trough uh, uh, moderates just a little bit, but notice that we've still got some uh, strong impulses uh, up there, one over Chicago and one just to the north uh, or west-northwest of that. Uh, and uh, that means with the surface high, we are going to moderate just a little bit on Wednesday, but don't look for a lot of moderation. We're not even going to get near uh, average temperatures for this time of year. The trough continues to sharpen up again, and uh, kind of on this map, look at uh, where Birmingham is and just follow those contours back up, and you're back up into western Canada. Uh, so the uh, Definitely the freezer doors are open, and uh, here comes a 1044 high, and that's going to be changing the uh, uh, geography of uh, of the temperatures once again, bringing more cold air into the region on Thursday, and also a little bit of shot of moisture there. So the possibility exists. Uh, it's pretty slim, it looks like, right now. Friday, the 1040 high settles in over, uh, oh, let's see, I guess I'd put that uh, just a little to the southwest of Nashville, uh, and so the 540 line back along the Gulf Coast. A little moderation comes once again on Saturday with the high uh, weakening. You see it's now a 1032 high and uh, moving off to the east just a little bit. But another round is in store as another sharp short wave 
moves through the basic long wave position over the eastern half of the country on Monday, and that brings some mischief with it or the possibility of some mischief uh, as we settle in right between that uh, kind of pattern between the warmer air to the south and the colder air to the north, but this is on the edge of voodoo. Now, speaking of voodoo, Here's Monday the 19th, and uh, that little short wave really sharpens up, and I guess I couldn't uh, describe this any better than just saying, ah, some mischief. If this comes true, and remember, we're in voodoo here, folks, So, but if this comes true, uh, then that's looking at the possibility of, of some ice. But, of course, we've been looking at possibilities in the longer term for over two weeks now, and nothing has really actually materialized. And then uh, at the end of the period, around 300 hours, or toward the latter part of the period, uh, another sharp trough, and that spells even more mischief. But that's really way out in voodoo. Listen, we appreciate you tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. Uh, hope that you have a great Sunday. James will be back with the next edition, bright and early Monday morning. Hope that you have a great Sunday, and Godspeed.